like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Check, check, check. Uh, you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to the notification gang, gang, gang. Um, couple things to talk about. Battle rap been real spicy this week. I'm not gonna lie. It's been pretty spicy. I've seen all of the blogger wars and bloggers going back and forth and this person pew, 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 everybody dissing each other. Y'all channel ain't this, this person ain't that. I don't really get involved with that type of stuff because people ask me all the time, why you don't go back? Bro, I, I can't because it's one like one really big reason. Like I have like a platform that has 80 some thousand subscribers. All these, I cannot go from here to talk about anybody that I gotta like that's not doing the same type of shit. And even if they were, the people that's doing what I'm doing ain't talking about me. And I ain't talking about them. So there you go, you know what I'm saying? And then plus I know where it goes, like, you know, the fans and everybody goes back and forth driving shit. And then the last reason is, I got like some really big things in the works. <laughs> I can't really say too much right now, but uh, these people that I'm involved with and the things that I got going on, they don't want to see, they don't want to come here and see me riffing and beefing with people. Like, it's just never going to happen. So, let's get into battle rap, more positive things going on right now. Murder Mook vs. Big K just dropped. I pressed play. I did press play because I give the league the view so I could watch it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not really going to go back through it. I'm not recapping it again. I'm not going back and, oh, it may be I, I I felt how I felt. I saw it three, four times before it dropped. And my decision is just where it's at. So we're going to salute to Big K, salute to Murder Moog, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment and being able to put on those kind of battles. But for me, I'm good. I'll be two, three weeks removed from that joint. So, um... Uh, Calico, salute to Calico and all that he has going on, personally and professionally. He's teaming up with Hollow the Don. I know a lot of people's like, man, this is an odd group, woo de woo de woo. But Hollow and Cal actually been cool for a while. Hey, that's Craig. And if my nigga ain't get locked up, he would have killed you. Free Hollow, them niggas acting like Hollow dead. Fuck loaded Lux, I get Lux loaded with all Hollow heads. Oh, oh well, Cal talks about his relationship with Hollow, and I'll play that clip in one second. Um, but Cal fe felt some of the pushback from people saying that he's not a good 2 on 2 party because the last time we seen Cal go into 2 on 2 it was with Murder Moot. They was taking on um, Park Life or Goonie Park, whatever T-Top and Twerk was together. I don't remember the fucking name. But there was a team 2 on 2 But the 2 on 2 came out horribly. Like, it just didn't pan out well. Nobody did. We lost. I he got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. I don't even have a winner in that two on two. But well, he did say something that was pretty interesting. I didn't know that they had to rewrite for the same opponent three times. Matter of fact, peep this. Y'all think shit's sweet. I'm glad y'all think uh, everything a game. Like I ain't tell niggas 10 years ago. And if my nigga ain't get locked up, he would have killed you. Y'all acting like hollow dead. Fuck loaded Lux. I get Lux loaded with all hollow heads. Like that ain't my nigga in real life. I don't know what's going on. Y'all niggas got us fucked up. Talking about the performance of the night. Y'all stupid? Are y'all stupid? Y'all really got me fucked up? Y'all let that shit... Y'all let that shit fool y'all? Because me and Mook went to California with no crowd, no nothing, and had, and had to do a battle against a, 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 a battle that we prepared for another nigga... And it ended up being T-Top and Twerk. It was never even supposed to be him because Briz flaked out and never came back to the league. Y'all really believe this? Y'all really believe that Cal is a bad 2 on 2 partner? Is y'all fucking stupid? Because we wrote raps for, the, for niggas three times? Because we was exhausted battling them niggas? Because we had to beat that ass? Y'all stupid? Y'all niggas.
niggas got me fucked up. Yeah, Murderland, like y'all niggas, y'all niggas don't even understand. Murderland never even had a fair shot, bro. We ended up battling T Top and New Jersey Twerk. Had to change our raps three times. They didn't even let us in the building in North Carolina. We get to New York. Had to switch all our raps. As soon as we get to the part where we go into our original shit that we had, because we had to do a new intro for being in New York and not being in North Carolina. Then we had to beat some niggas' ass. And then they switch it again to LA and switch an opponent. And y'all want to judge. And I still think we beat them niggas. So Calico reveals that they had to write three times for the same opponent, that we had to beat their ass, that we had to do all of this stuff in order to get these opponents. So people, are, he's saying, don't judge previous two-on-twos for their lack of entertainment due to the fact that they had all of these underlying circumstances that preceded the battle and that happened afterwards, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I don't put too much stock into double impacts and no imp it's double impact that's basically what it is double impact i don't really put a lot of stock into it unless it's a super 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 big battle like loaded hollows versus guns and cake like that's like a war or uh gun titles versus nwx that's a war but a lot of the other ones like i, I mean they're cool but it just is what it is so hollow and um cal are teaming up together you know what i'm saying and uh, we're gonna see how that Chemistry works back and forth. I did see another announcement for a two-on-two, and this was kind of random. It was Hustle and Danny. That's a that's wild random. Now if we could get them versus like a Jazz and maybe Lou or something like that. You know what I'm saying? We could get something like that. It could get popping, popping, popping. Bang, 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 bang. Now I would like to see that. I would like to see Jazz versus Hustle. <laughs> URL, URL. Get, 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 yeah, yeah. I would like to see them too. Um. But yeah, Cal and Hollow have had a relationship for quite a long time as far as like being friends and shit like that. So when it comes to them actually being in a battle together, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of dope. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like these half half ass announcements. Announcements. Let's let the damn battle come out. It's like like known blackout or some shit like that. We gotta learn all the people. We are gonna do another ten announcements or get about who they're going against. I understand that y'all are trying to turn a penny to a twenty and milk the situation, but golly, a salute to Holly. You see what I got on lomclothing.com. You should know that. But uh, yeah, it's like y'all dragging it out, bro. Like it's like you get one announcement, then you gotta wait another couple days, and you get another one. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to pipe up the, the the budget. You know what I'm saying? And get people get people going, get people excited. But we rather have full announcements. I, I ain't gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Or just what you just do it like you do that battles. You niggas drop the battles all in one fucking day. <laughs> you drop a whole event card in one day, and boom, here you go. Just throw it out there. Uh, as far as um, this battle, you know what I'm saying? I'm just I was thinking about something else right quick. But when it comes to uh, this card, I mean, maybe there could be some good battles on it. Maybe there won't be some good battles on it, or whatever the case may be. We will be recapping another couple outside two battles. Uh, I think I got some things to talk about with Arsenal versus Ace, and then Jack Boy versus Authentic. If you did not see, if you did not see, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is why I'm gonna recap Jack Boy main versus Authentic, because I have an Instagram, right? Vada underscore fly, I tell you all the time. Follow me on, I, why, yo, follow me on the gram. I got some shit coming to the gram too. Y'all be wanting this merchandise, wanting these clothes, wanting this stuff. The gram is where you're gonna find a lot of this stuff. Somebody commented on my picture the other day. Like I put a, I just posted a regular picture that popped passing. A nigga, I might be able to find it. <laughs> he commented for me to recap a battle like that had nothing had nothing to do with anything that I had going on in life. Like it had zero to do with it. But homie jumped in them comments and was like, "You need to recap Jack Boy Main versus Authentic. It was one to one to one to one." I was like, "Yo." If this nigga came all the way here to let me know that I had to recap this joint, then yeah, I gotta recap it. So um, I did watch it last night and it was actually a pretty good battle. Uh, I see the NBA playoffs continuing to move along. Um, I was trying to find some message, but whatever. I know I got it. Uh, uh, Miami's up 2-0. Miami's up 2-0. I told y'all about, I told Boston, you know what I'm saying? Miami's up 2-0. Lakers are down 2-0, and Denver's going to play them tonight. If they go down 3-0, you can forget about it. Any one of these teams go down 3-0, you can forget about it. Um, 
Miami is just like that right now. And then Grant Williams went out there and, and, and was trolling Jimmy Butler. What the fuck he thought was going to come out? Tell me, explain to me, Grant Williams. What the fuck did you think was going to come out of going at Jimmy Butler? You learned, oh, you learned real quick to don't poke bears. Didn't you learn from Dylan Brooks? Dylan Brooks walked so you could run, my nigga. Like, that shit shouldn't even went down like that. Um, some events coming up, battle rap-wise, obviously... URL has Gnome Impact coming up. Remy Ma just released. Uh, Gnome Impact is June 10th. Remy Ma's event is June 17th. Easy's event is June 3rd. So there's going to be an event like every week. I probably won't be at, man, I'm going to let you know that right now. I got some shit going on with some some cameras, some big shit going on. I'm, so I'm going to let you know right now. You niggas probably ain't going to see me on the scene for a little while, but nigga, I'll still recap them. I'm going to still cop them and watch them, but I'm just saying... Life goes on, we gotta do bigger things. So, uh, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I hope all is well with y'all days, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people work, a lot of people got kids, a lot of people got families, and y'all be grinding and grinding and grinding out here in these streets trying to get shit done. And I just come to try to bring you a little joy in your day, talk to you, crack some jokes, you know what I'm saying, and do shit like that. Uh, Reed Dollars has posted, I did see that he posted the flyer to Easy's event on um on his Instagram. He did. He posted it when it first happened, you know what I'm saying? And I I think they may be trying to get a face off done too between Reed and Easy because that's a conversation. Whether I know a lot of y'all feel whoop de whoop however you feel, but it still is a conversation to be had because Reed's been around forever. He was one of the first ones in Philly and Easy's one of the rising stars in Philly. So for the city of Philadelphia, it's a huge look, regardless of how you may feel somewhere else. I do have Easy winning clearly but i still want it to be a good battle like i do want reed to show up and do his thing but i have easy with it you know what i'm saying because uh at the end of the day easy can't leave url and then go to start having debatables on his own that ain't gonna work but other than that man salute to every single one of y'all sp will be by tonight uh we got some things that we need to talk about and we're gonna uh, we got some recaps to do but uh well 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 salute to every single one of y'all y'all know what it is gang gang